Wow, what a home. I'm David Mustard and I want to welcome you to Pavilion House. This week I have made my way north from London to Suffolk to visit this one-of-a-kind minimalist luxury retreat. It's a one-floor, three-bedroom, three-bathroom home on a working farm and it's only two miles away from the coast so you can just pop down to the beach for a day by the water. This is designed by Norm Architects, which are based in Copenhagen. They have also designed one of my favorite restaurants in London, actually, Sticks and Sushi. I can really recommend that place if you ever go to London. All around this house, you can see the Scandinavian design elements, simplicity, minimalism, neutral colors, wood, steel, and glass in a beautiful mix. I especially like the wood window frames. Personally, I think it looks so much better than the typical black steel frames that are the most common around large floor to ceiling windows like these. And by the way, if you're interested in renting this place, I will leave a link below to their booking site so that you can have a look. Now today we're going to explore the main house, the studio and the barn. So stay until the end so you don't miss the studio. Now first we have the large modernized barn here in front of the house. This place has got table tennis and a basketball hoop. And here you can also charge your electric car if you have one as well. This place also supplies the solar energy that powers the house. And it is also from here the rainwater is collected and irrigates the surrounding land. Let's make our way over to the main house now, and this place is just stunning. It is all covered in glass throughout, and you can open up the windows to get that fresh breeze and to step straight out onto the wraparound terrace that goes all around the house. And if you just want to walk down a couple of steps from the house, you get to the fire pit. And I've seen a lot of fire pits, but no one that looks like this with this sleek, beautiful design. You will notice that I will use the word sleek, minimalist Scandinavian over and over in today's video. Now let's have a look at the inside of the pavilion house and we will enter through the door in the middle of the house and inside we have an entrance hall straight ahead but what we also have is this corridor both to our right and left which takes us to all the rooms in here. On one end we have the living room and on the other end we find the main bedroom. And this is quite a cool entrance hall. It's very bright with white walls and ceiling just like you can find throughout the house. And there's a bright wood floor as well which you can also see in the other rooms. The brightness in here also comes from the floor to ceiling windows right in front of me as well. There's pretty much not a dark spot anywhere in this house because of the windows. Anyway, in here we have a nice little sofa and chair and a small table in front of a wood burner if you want some extra heat in winter. The floors in here all have underfloor heating so it shouldn't get too cold. Directly to our left here we also have a cloak room for our jackets and bags and a small bathroom with toilet and sink. We've now spent a bit too long in the entrance hall, so let's make our way left down towards the living area. And we're first met by the beautiful kitchen and dining area. And I mean, what a dream kitchen. It is all in white with a very sleek gray worktop. I like that they went with such a slim worktop instead of a thicker one. It just fits the style of the home. And the long kitchen island here in the middle stretches along the full length of the kitchen from one side to the next. And on the opposite side, there's room for three tall breakfast chairs. On the island, you also find the sink to one side and behind you is the induction stove for all your cooking needs. And one of the best things about this kitchen is that there's actually another hidden kitchen behind the main kitchen. So back there you can prepare more food and you have more space to store things if you're for example cooking for a large group of people. And as you can see the kitchen here is extremely minimalistic with very few things out on the worktop. Let me know what you prefer, a clean simple minimalist look like this or something a bit more cluttered and rustic. Let me know in the comments. In front of the kitchen we have the dining table, a large slab of wood with seating for up to eight people. But you can probably squeeze in a couple of extra people here if needed. And have a look here on the wall. Have you ever seen a lamp like this? It hangs out really far from the wall and you can adjust it as well. This is completely new for me at least. Also beautiful lamps above the kitchen island, I just felt like I should mention that. Now let's move all the way down to the end of the house to have a look at the living room here. 
Here we have large windows in two directions looking out onto the view outside. And there's two large grey sofas here in the middle that complement each other perfectly despite their unsymmetrical shape. And there's a beautiful grey rug in between the sofas and a stone bench along the wall just below the incorporated fireplace. There's also two comfortable chairs here in between the sofas as well. And I can just imagine that it would be very comfortable to sit here in the evening with a glass of wine or a kombucha or something and enjoy the views and sunset outside. And I like that there's some art on the wall even though this is a very minimalist home. We for example don't have any art on the walls at home. But what we do have are mirrors which gives the rooms more depth and it's some kind of art when the sun shines in and hits the mirror at just the right angle. Anyway, I just wanted to say that this is really beautiful even if you don't feel like you want a lot of artwork on the walls, I really like this one. Now let us move down to the other end of the house and this is a long house so it's quite a trek to the other side. This is the bedroom area and we've got three bedrooms here. One of which has an ensuite bathroom and the two smaller bedrooms share a bathroom. And you might ask what they use for privacy in a house like this that has glass walls everywhere but there's actually white curtains all around the house so you can pull across and I guess it, this makes it a bit cooler in the summer as well when the sun is out throughout the day. Anyway let's start by having a look at the main bedroom which is just down at the end and this is big. According to the floor plan it's almost as big as the living room. This room has a huge king size bed and light coming in from both sides. I also really like these side tables here on each side of the bed. They have that 90s 60s modernist look that you see a lot of in Scandinavian design. In this room we also have a walk-in closet and an ensuite bathroom with a shower and a bathtub right under the window where you can lay and soak after a long day exploring the area. Let's also have a quick look at the remaining two bedrooms and the shared bathroom. Both of these have smaller wardrobes and one of them has a desk if you need to do some work during your stay. And I think we've finished the tour of the main house now so let's move over to the studio right next door. This is like a smaller version of the main house and in here there's actually a sauna to relax in if that's your thing. I'm here during July and it's really hot outside so I won't be needing it today. Here we also have a laundry room and a shower room and then finally the main room. This is quite a big room with room for a beautiful desk and a large sofa and a couple of chairs in front of the only TV here. So when you're staying here you can always retire back to this room in the evening if you just want to relax in front of some Netflix. Anyway now I think that's it for this tour of the pavilion house here in Norfolk. I will leave a link below to their booking site so that you can book your own stay. And don't forget to leave a like on the video that's always very helpful. Now let me know what your favorite part of this home is. Is it the unique architecture? The stunning interior design? Or is it the views of the fields? Let me know and please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch architectural masterpieces like this, tree houses, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more behind the scenes of these amazing homes. I'll leave links below for that so go and have a look. Thanks for hanging out today. See you soon. Bye bye.